Within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, uh, hips, like they were like the brain uh, implant uh, picked up what I was doing with my hips. So that was uh, like uh, the best outcome I think for everyone. Okay, so you tell me when you're ready, and I start Steve. We are recording electrical signal generated by the brain, so we need to decode this signal. And for this, we use artificial intelligence that predicts the thought of the patient. And then another artificial intelligence that encodes the desired movement into stimulation of the spinal cord. So, of course, not, the patient is not walking normally as us, uh, able bodied person, but you know, we have some kind of a cyborg in a way that, you know, have artificial intelligence extracting information and enabling to restore a digital communication.